So for those not aware, the new mystery is about to start The Sea of Thieves on May 11th, complete with a pretty ominous and quite unsettling trailer for its announcement. Now before I delve in and start the speculation train, let's all sit back and take it in. Held still for years. Cold to the touch. Just punishment. Time without meaning. They think they understand, but only I see what they cannot. Turn the key, and all will end for them. It's yours to reveal. I will be waiting. So who is this talking? And what does he mean? Well, I'm going to run through a few theories of who this person could be. The first theory is none other than the Gold Hoarder himself, or Rathbone, as he was named before his demise and return as an undead. Now, of course, you must be thinking to yourself, but isn't he dead? Well, we also thought that at the end of Shores of Gold, and lo and behold, he returned in the pirate's life tall tales, if not looking a little worse for wear. But now, he's been reduced to essentially the power core for a talisman that allows the Dark Brethren to traverse between the Sea of the Damned and the Sea of Thieves at will. The magic used within the staff combined with the Gold Hoarder's eyes, which are Veil Stones, somehow allows the process of transportation. But I think the real question is not how is he talking, but when is he talking? You see, the Gold Hoarder, when he was Wrathbone, travelled to what we now know as the Shores of Gold, to essentially stash all of his worldly belongings there so nobody else could have them. He found a crypt and a throne on this island, and it's unknown whether the throne or the gold he had in his possession was the one thing that began his golden curse. His lust for treasure outweighed the worry he had for his own body. His arm, for example, becoming mostly solid gold and unable to move, but all he cared about was stashing the treasure he stole so nobody else could get it. He didn't even care about the order of his old captain, Ramsay, now the Pirate Lord. However, members of an adolescent Athena's fortune did not like this, and gave him an option turn away from his pursuit of gold, or be killed. He tried to fight back, but his ship was sunk, with him inside, where he was pinned at the bottom of the ocean for a very long time, unable to die due to his curse, which explains the lines, Call to the touch, an unjust punishment held still for years. Time without meaning. It was the Pirate Lord who eventually raised him from the waters, thinking he was dead, and Rathbone fled to the shores of gold to be with his riches, adorning his now withered skull with gold and jewels that we now know to be veil stones, so he could peer into the Sea of the Damned and gaze upon otherworldly riches, which explains the line, Only I see what they cannot. Given all this, and the fact that the Dark Brethren music is playing in the background, it all lines up pretty well. But there is one other member of the Dark Brethren we have yet to meet. And yes, it's time for another Captain Theory. Firstly, and this is something that caught my eye immediately, and I'm sure a few of you also, the hands with the puppet strings. Now, the Captain has always been hinted at by the developers to be out there, and has been pulling the strings for the longest time. And all we really know about the Captain is this. He's a skeleton. Captain Flameheart used to be a crew member of his until mutinied and left to rot on an unmarked island. He is also responsible for cursing his son, who is now known as the Servant of Flame. We don't know the Captain's agenda. Whether it's to seed chaos or restore order, we have no idea. 
but we do know, thanks to the exploits of the Servant of Flame in the Shrouded Islands adventure, that the Servant of Flame broke free from his former thrall, that thrall being the captain. And given that the symbology of the trailer shows a skeletal arm being revealed from the ground, and the Puppet Master using the Gold Hoarders to locate him using a map, this all seems very fitting for a Master Manipulator. Did the Servant of Flame bury his former thrall? Hence the lines, Held still for years, an unjust punishment. The captain would know more than any pirate within a sea of thieves, as in terms of storyline, he's ancient. But only I see what they cannot. I will be waiting. The final theory, and an unpopular one, but still very fitting, the Siren King. His remains still dwell within the Sunken Kingdom, but his soul, his essence, resides within the chest of everlasting sorrow. The transcript aligns with his plight too. Call to the touch an unjust punishment. Given that all the Siren King wanted to do was be with the one he loved and his love transformed him from human to merfolk using the Stones of Power. But he was banished from his own kind, and slaughtered when he tried to make peace with them. His bones laid within the crypt, and his soul torn and fused with a cursed chest. But given that the final villain of the first mystery was the Siren Queen, who magically reappeared with no explanation, I doubt they'd keep on the same storyline. But still, the voice, the transcript, the music, it all fits. As much as I want this voice to be the captain, I have doubts that it is. I think we are hearing the memories of Rathbone. But I think one thing a lot of us are glazing over is the fact that this is just a promotion for the mystery. It's setting the scene. And given the name, The Hoarder's Hunt, I think what we can expect is a mystery that centers around what the Gold Order had been searching for. His agenda was always gold and riches, but maybe with his veil stone gazing eyes, he found something that he should not have. And now, us silly pirates are going to pick up where he left off, and open something we shouldn't. Now who can think of the last time we heard about something that a certain adventurer found within the Sea of the Damned, but kept locked away because releasing it would mean calamity. Turn the key, and all will end for them. It's yours to reveal. I will be waiting. <laughs>